Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This episode, we're working on the old square body again. Stay tuned. Okay, so today we are working on this old 79 Chevy. We're gonna service the rear diff. Uh, I've had this truck since last summer and I have not popped the rear diff cover. So, I mean, checked the fluid, looked okay. It was there, right? Um, I do not know what uh, rear end gear ratio I have in the truck. I do know that it is a, uh, it's an open diff, one tire fire, one wheel peel, poor man burnout type of a truck. So I just wanna have a look and see what I got going on there. I wanna find out what my rear end gear ratio is. Um, I wanna change my rear tire setup. So I wanna see what gears I have in the back and I wanna see what kind of RPMs I'm running on the highway. And you know, there's bleep bloop calculators on the internet. You input your RPM at whatever highway speed, your tire size, you know, what trans you have, rear end, gear ratio and then you can figure all that stuff out and you can you can go up you can change tire sizes you can change rear end that ratios that kind of stuff just to kind of get whatever rpms you want on the highway so i do know i want to change my tire size i want a little fatter bigger tire in the back end and maybe and i want to put new gears into i want to put a posi in the rear end so it's two tires light and fires at the same time right um so we'll get into it i'll pop the cover i'll show you guys how to figure out what you have for rear gears and we'll put new fluid in you know maybe upgrade the rear end uh, how she looks a little bit here I'll show you what i got going on okay so just factory rear end on this old square body chevy 12 bolt you can tell i had a little bit of a leak there for a bit not sure if that was a pinion seal or just the uh rear end of the transmission just throwing fluid as i was driving but that's okay Bunch of lube locker gaskets showed up in the mail. Uh, this is the one I need, so I got the 12 bolt for this one. Also picked up, yeah, I got a couple for 14 bolt. I think this one here in the front, yeah, that's for the Dana 60 on the old Jimmy, but we'll get to that later. Got a chrome diff cover, because you know, chrome gets you home. I also picked this up because it has the plug there so you can drop the fluid without dropping the dropping the pan, make things a little easier. Ran down to the old hardware store, Canadian Tire. Picked up this Motomaster 80W90 fluid. Went with the Motomaster because that's all they had. So we'll put this in here and uh, yeah, get to it. fat head in this screen here okay so you're gonna want to put your pan you know, drip tray down you're gonna want to lay in the gravel and not put any cardboard or anything down because that would be the smart thing to do uh, I got a ratchet extension if you feel like it socket it is a half inch I'm gonna go around bust all these uh, bolts off I got a flat screwdriver just to break the gasket seal to pop the cover drain all the fluid out and we'll see what we got going on in there Stay tuned. Well, I'm not gonna lie, that doesn't look as dirty as I figured it was gonna be. Still kind of looks golden-ish, golden-ish. All right, okay, here do I got them all out. Get out of there. Easy, easy, oh yeah. Wrecking the gasket. Good thing I got new ones. That's fine. That's the whole purpose of this. Well, looks kind of dirty. I don't know. Clean her up. We'll have a look. See what we got going on. Okay, so calculating uh, rear diff gear ratio. 
normally there would be a tag hanging off the back of the diff somewhere telling you what the ratio is. I don't have that. So I'm gonna have to do it a little different way here. There's a couple of, well, there's a bunch of ways you could figure it out. You could do the old, uh, you know, jack the tire up, spin the tire two rotations and then count how many rotations of your drive shaft and figure it out that way. Um, I am going to, I'm gonna jack, jack the back of the truck up here. I'm gonna spin the, spin the gears around. The numbers should be stamped on this, uh, on this ring gear. Be a couple of numbers, you got a big number, a little number, divide the two, that'll figure out your gear ratio, or you can count how many teeth are on the ring gear and count how many teeth are on your pinion gear way up in there, divide the two, that's the same thing. I am definitely not gonna do it that way. So I'm gonna jack this truck up. I'm gonna spin spin these gears so I can find the, uh, the stamping on them, do a little bit of math, and I'll get back to you. Little safety note, whenever you're doing any kind of work on your vehicle, make sure you're parked on a solid level foundation Tires chalked, of course. Me, she's on gravel and on a hill. Perfect. That's why I got those there, just in case. All right. Okay. Truck is jacked up, held up in place with this certified jack. Certified to fall on your head. Safety block of wood, so you know we're okay. Now, because this is an open diff, I only have to jack up one wheel because it's going to spin free while the other one sits there on the ground. Now, if you had a pause unit, you're going to want to have both, both tires up off the ground because they'll spin together. So this is kind of good for me because I'm not working on a level surface. But that's neither here nor there. So jack tire off the ground truck is also in neutral keep that in mind now you start spinning the tire your gears start moving and I already found some numbers that I can see you can't see them on camera but I'll zoom in here and we'll show you what I got going on and then we'll do a little bit of math okay so we rolled the tire over found a lot of numbers on this gear. I don't even know if you guys can pick it up. That for sure is a 47. And I don't I don't have good light at all here, but this right here, that's a 1. And the number beside it which is conveniently cut out right there, the angle on it looks like that would be a 7. So I want to say that's a 17 and that's a 47. Now, if you do the math, trust me on this because I used a calculator, 47 divided by 17 is 2.764, bunch of, bunch, bunch of other numbers. So, this 12 volt GM rear end here has two, 276 gears. Great on the highway, really doggish for acceleration. It's not too bad for mileage considering, right? But so this rear end has 2.76 to one ratio gears. And that's how you figure it out, fellas. Just gonna quickly pull this plug out, throw a little bit of Teflon on there so she don't leak. New gasket. These lube blockers are, they say they're reusable. We'll see, I guess if you don't wreck it the next time you pull it off. You don't need to use any silicone or anything like that you just put them on and go easy with the torque and there should be no leaks so we'll get this all sealed up properly get everything installed and then we'll go put some new fluid in hmm too small too big of course you'd be metric so i managed to track down the proper allen Allen head bit there for, for those no screws. <laughs> no, no, anyways, that's all ready to go on. Gasket set, I got all the bolts there. Two of them are longer than the rest. And that's how it was with the old ones that came out too. 
So you're gonna have to put a longer one right there for that bracket and for that bracket. So just keep that in mind. I'm not gonna video this. I'm just gonna get it in place and I'll bring you back in once the finished product's there. And then I'll show you how I'm gonna top up the fluids. Oh baby, does that ever look good? That's guaranteed to give you an extra 10 horsepower right there. You know, and she'll get you home. All right, let's get her topped up and then go for a cruise. Picked up one of these little pump things here to throw in the top of the bottle, so a lot easier to fill up the diff there, so, you know, it don't spill everywhere. Got the old plug out. I'm just gonna put this uh, rubber hose in that hole and we're just gonna pump away till she's full. So update, a levity, 11 teen million niner pumps later, dip still not full. So recommend getting an electric pump next time. There we go. You just pump fluid in until she starts running out there like that. You know she's full guys. Topped up. Perfect. Let's go for a rip. hit that like and subscribe notification bell leave some comments down below uh, thanks for tuning in once again watching me work on my old junk uh, like I said figure out your rear end uh, gear ratio pop the cover find the numbers take the big number divided by the little number that's what gear ratio you got it's also the same as counting the teeth on the on the ring gear divided by the pinion gear easy peasy guys this truck's got 276s I'm gonna do some calculating online and see what I can and cannot go to. I, I still like to daily drive this truck down the highway, highway speeds, keep up with traffic. Uh, so I want a little bit better acceleration. I wanna throw a pause in just so I can do uh, burnouts. And then I also wanna, you know, don't have my RPMs uh, just a rip in because this is the uh, turbo 350 three speed transmission. So. Even with these 276s, the RPMs, you know, the truck's still sort of just a screaming while we're doing, doing highway speed. So, all right, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.